How much is it? How much is it? So it's one thousand naira. Mm. And you are why you found him? What is it? Yeah, I'm not going to school again. Shut up! What do you mean? Ah, uh, what is the name of going to school now? You don't look at my clothes. Everything is old. I, I have no textbook. Everybody to keep on asking me at school. I'm not going again. Everyone I told you my father is going. They even laugh me more. I'm not going to school again. Um, why don't you just go inside and eat your food? We'll talk about it later, okay? Okay. Mm. Mama, please don't cry. Please. Mm. You have to be strong for us. But what am I going to do if these children stop going to school? I would have failed in my duty. It is better. No, 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 please, please don't talk like that, please. You have not failed, Mama. Mama will need you, please. Anyway, Mama, guess what? What? Just guess. What? Mama, I've gotten a job. You what? I've got a job. Hey! At a casino. We work at night and rest by the day. Mama, the pay is good. Ten thousand naira every month. Hey, thank you. Hey, thank you, Jesus. <laughs> thank you, my Lord. Hey, thank you, Father. Attractive. Trafficators. Sharp. Good. But we don't lose here. Here, our rules. Number one, no lying, no stealing, no snatching of our brothers' bobo, no fighting. Except you offer yourself a side police. How do you look at like that? Me, G Mama, go to tell you there. I get conditions. No jazzing of another person, baby, to have another person. The only chance we're going to do for this place. Hey, now to attract customers, now you know. Not to attract customers. As they see me, so. I get contract with a lunch to supply them, baby, this night. Ten beds, you know. And I said, they see her, so. As I see you, so. I get all the potentials. Well, well. If you reach there, anything when they say make you do, do it well. Because a large them and their friends go pay you well, well. They are not dead. Even if they say make you sleep with them, don't go. This is catch you. Anything. Do it. Now money now. Let money with the new for. Now money. Let you comply with you. Don't tell me finish. See, mama. Um, I for say make she still go pay for the night patrol for now. Until when she will get liver to do the main runs. Now, who says? She told me she don't go leave her. No, you go leave her. Be good. No, I don't get tired. But I want everybody to come slow and say for me. Yes, yes, they do. I'll be in the baby. She go grow leave her. Be good. If you go give her the kids, the money, but the money is five hundred naira every day. If you like, you go leave her. If you don't like, stay there. You go stay there. If you don't pay me, I will tell you to come to my hotel one time. No, I don't get tired. Go. Tell her. Go. Go tell her. Go tell her. Go. You guys can see this. Hey, wait, wait. This call I don't like this one. 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 Yes, 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 um, you want my friend? Yes. Come now. Yeah, I like what I'm saying. <laughs> yeah. 
Mm. So, how much for the whole night? Um, uh, short time or overnight? Yes, um, short time or overnight. Mm, let's just say we start from short time and if she gets better, we're going to just extend it to... So, ah, you go tell us the one way you want now. Which one you did? You don't know what you want. All right, all right. Look, from the way I see her, I think overnight is it. Overnight? Uh, ah, it costs though. How much now? Yes, it costs well. Now, 2,000 naira. Yes, 2,000 naira. Mm. Mm. 2,000 naira. Okay. Come on now. Okay. Wait, first. Uh -uh. Bring the money first now. Which uh, one you do? Yes. I'm going to pay her now. The money first. Okay. All right, all right. I'll give you the money. <laughs> How come money she had this man they look for? It'd be like, say, I can't want too much self for. Stupid girl, don't mind her. She's even selecting them. I don't blame her. <laughs> they even teach and lesson. Say, now na, 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 we will open here. Uh, okay. Wait, uh, which area of Lagos do they go? Yes, which area do you live? I just go to AJ, AJ City. That place is dangerous, so. People they live there now. Come on. How far man like you say go they stay? They go they say. Oh, but she he walk out beyond. I'm making my money back. What to concern you that you go? Okay. You go give and transport money for money, you no? Know? Yes, transport for money, you no. Know? More fair. Uh, go. Uh huh. Okay. Where you go? Ah, uh, so you're up early. Yeah, and I think you should if you don't want to be trapped by traffic in this area. Yes, sure. You're right. Um, your water is in the bathroom. My what? Your water is ready in the bathroom. You put water in the bathroom for me? Yes. How did you know where the bathroom is? I asked. Besides, I live in a similar neighborhood. Thanks anyway, you, you, you really shouldn't have bothered. How about you? Won't you have your bath? I've had mine already. So, I guess I have to wait for you. Yeah. I'm going to get that. I'm going to get that. Good morning. Good morning. Um, the little bill don't come up. I don't share them. I own that one plate. Ah, ah, Papa Ngozi, what do I use in the room that you have to give me 120? Ah, 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 okay, I don't like this, I will they talk with. They use cassette for us. You don't use radio. You don't use the fridge. Oh, you don't use the light. You don't use code room. Papa, ah. it's all right, I will pay. Mm -hmm. yeah, come, when you go pay, you go bring down tomorrow. Papa Ngozi, hmm? but you know it's not the end of the month hey. now. Okay, engineer. Today you go tell what to know what to do. They carry all these small, small ladies. You, you and them, I know that they still wait. They can't suffer you. They didn't want to see the kill you. I suffer you. They didn't want to see the kill you. That's my gadget. Lost his more than a woman. Okay. Hey, the football. Good, good morning, sir. Morning. Good morning, madam. Morning. Sir, I'm going to the warehouse, I, as I saw you, you know. I wonder what you they do here now. Mm, nothing. I, I'm, I'm fine. I'm okay. I hope there is no problem. No, no, no problem. Sir. I'm just fine. Come, let me, let me drop you in your... No, I'm okay. I'm, I'm fine. Okay? What do I go tell GM now? Um... Tell him I'll see him later. Eh? Okay, sir. All right. Bye bye. Mm -hmm. um, who is there and why is he practically worshipping you? Uh, I'm sure he thought I'm somebody he knows somewhere. Mm -hmm. <laughs> but I just had to play along, you know. Yeah. <laughs> it happens. People can be strange. Yeah, right? yeah very strange. <laughs> <laughs> so, okay. She can push this guy now.
Mama. <laughs> Good morning. Morning. Ma. Nice work. Fine, Mama. We're managing. Yeah. Thank you. Uh, Mama, where is uh, John and the Tony? Ah, they have gone to school. But eh, before Tony eh, agreed to go to school, I preach, I pray, I talk. He now finally left to school. Yeah. Tuza, the food is inside now. Eh, go, go and eat. Ma, it's don't, inside. Don't, don't worry. Don't worry, Mama. Um, now, I have something for you. Uh, this is 1,500 naira. <laughs> I wanted to use it to get him a new school uniform and uh, some test books. Where did you get all this from? Uh, Mama, I had to collect advance Mama, in my salary. So, God, I thank you. Hey, you don't do better for us, you be bad, bad. Thank you. Hey, but uh, Susan, you must be tired now. You know you walked overnight. Go and sleep. Mama, don't worry about me. I, I can manage. Why don't you just run along and get the textbooks and um, the school uniform? No, I mean, go after when they come back from school. Mama, you are going too much. Why don't you just run along? Uh -huh. Yes, I will stay. I will sell for you. Don't worry. Okay, let me go in and change that book. Okay. Mama. Thank you, Anne. Eh? Yes, Hello, Susan. Yes, who is that? Uh, Stella, you know. Oh, yes. sorry, I'm looking for Stella. Stella? Yes, Stella and Leslie. They moved out uh, from here a week ago. Yeah, I was with them about a week ago. Oh, an agent gave me this place. You are Jennifer, Stella's friend. Yes. Okay, I have a letter for you. <laughs> Check me in a week's time because I know I'll be in the road with my fiance Leslie by then. I've been trying all my life to travel. You gave me the opportunity. That's what friends are for. You can go and beg your husband. I'm sure he may take you back. If not, good luck. <laughs> Wow. Hmm. So he didn't even touch you and he gave you a fresh appointment. Mm -hmm. ah, you are lucky. But make you remember, say, I shall know they fall in love. Oh. Huh. Tessie, it's not about falling in love. He didn't mention anything like that. But any day he mentions love, I will just walk out. You go just walk out for this eye with the shine. So. <laughs> hey, the girls where I. Gotta go give a to the listening. I like the couple say the girls they don't fight at all at all. Say they better too big. I beg. You wait there, can't wait. You go for the go this night, yeah? I beg. Ah, uh -huh. this is why they behave like this. I mean, they this again for money. Gee, mama, no be so. They think be say the guy get appointment already today. Which kind of appointment be that? For 2,000 naira. When I like, they drop 5,000 5, naira here every night. Whoa. If you don't follow them, go this night. I go drive you come out for this hotel one time. This is this the play for this place. No post and sign for my girl or two of you. I don't tell me. Okay, no show. 5K better pass 2K. Or how you say? Tessie, it's, it's not about the money. Listen, I promised Frank and I don't intend to disappoint him. <laughs> Mm. <laughs> this all your voice they sound somehow like this. <laughs> okay. You just say you have four yakata for this man so <laughs> it's not about love, eh? It's about trust and dignity. Story. Story. Anyway, Sha. If you go, if G Mama come, I go cover up for you. Oh, thank you. You're a darling. Oh, Susan. Right. I thought she would not come. Oh, 
Since you didn't sleep with me last night, I, I don't think it's worth for me to have it. No. Are you sure you're a prostitute? Straight on, honey. Because I really don't think it's any business of yours how much I pay you. Come on, go ahead. <sighs> okay. Whatever. So, how was your day? Very, very active. You know, my boss with this problem, you know, everybody went down on my neck and all that gosh. Well, let me not bore you with all that, please. Try me. Besides, what are friends for? Alright, I guess I could tell you everything. You see, we have a big problem on our hands, Anne, and it's really bothering my boss. We have a lot of consignment in this in the warehouse. And the, and the stocks are not moving at all. I mean, it's tied down our money. What over uh, 50 million naira? You see, another problem is that we have this new consignment coming in because of the arrangement we have with some of our manufacturers over there. You know, they have to supply us every three, three months. Now, there are stocks in there in the warehouse we cannot sell, and there's this new one coming in. To top that, we have over 500,000 naira worth of debt on our head. Wow. That's a whole lot of money. You're rich. <laughs> <laughs> Not me. My boss is a rich man. Anyway, if you, I don't know. Let me let me just uh, uh, make my own little contribution. Okay. What do you think? Well, go ahead and hear. You know, the alternative market strategy states that when price is high. And sales is low, you resort to this strategy. Cut down the price of your goods far below that of your competitors. You will even find out that your competitors will even buy from you. But make sure you don't cut your price far below your profit margin. Okay? You see, that way you'll be able to restock your warehouse. Pay your bills, quick returns, and baby, you're in business. Wow, and that is ingenious if you ask me. Tell me, how did you come about all this? Well, I was in business. Did you mean it's true? No, it was, it's still but, you know, things became very difficult for my father died, my mother, so I just had to drop out of school. But uh, it's a long story. I wouldn't want to bore you with my story, okay? So, that is why you became a prostitute? No, no, no. I'm, I'm sorry. Don't, don't, don't get embarrassed or anything. It's just that I don't believe a beautiful girl like you, with all this intelligence, should be hanging out the place I picked you up. I mean, you should be in a corporate world somewhere, you know, making good use of your intelligence, making money and improving the economy. You deserve more than this, believe me. Thank you. <laughs> anyway, I am starving. Mm. Let's go grab something from the nearby church. You know, well, I brought plantains and uh, egg. Let me cook for you, let me cook. I saw your, is that your stove there? Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's, well, not like exactly, but uh, it's my neighbor's. You can use it. I'm just cooking something, you know. Rather than going outside to eat, it's not hygienic. You need to help you save money and all that. Are you sure you're real? We just get you something to eat first, okay? Madam, she don't go one runs like that. Uh, which kind of pass the one where I like they do? Nobody has said if you carry that girl, go give her that yesterday. Eh? Who 
Officials did pass the work when they were allowed to go bring here. Now, 2000 will be the loss, I be. Eh? So, this is our plan huh? to spend me in my hotel. Now, your plan? Yes, eh? yes, okay. When is this? What about you? Is this when they finish with you, just pack out of your. Pack this out of this hotel. Your plans, your plans don't go fuck. Where are you from? Nonsense. I think I'm busy. I'm begging. Now we will. Now we will not talk for it one day. This woman will not be our mama. I want you to be my girlfriend. <laughs> no, I'm serious. Look, that means you will have to stop prostituting. You know, become a very responsible person. I would even send you back to school and pay for it. Wait, 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 wait. What did you just say? I said I'll send you back to school and I'll pay for it. You know what? I really hate when people take me for granted. What are you talking about? You think my life is not good enough for no, me? No, you just don't think I don't know what I'm doing? No, Susan, you don't. Know. It it's my life and I can choose to live in whichever way I want to. Look at you, you're there talking about sending me back to school. Do you know how much it will cost me to go back to school? 30,000 naira. Yes, and you can hardly pay for your electricity bill. Just so please, 120 naira you can pay. Then you're there talking about sending me back to school. Listen to me, if it's in 200 and all that, like 2,000, I don't want to just take it and let me show you. Listen to me and listen to me. When it comes to that business, I don't ever want to see you. Okay, let's go for somebody else. <laughs> Susan, don't do this. Look, Susan, Susan. I will give all my love. I will hold back anything, yeah. And all my worldly goods with all I will share. Together we will live forever and ever. Until death do us part. You! You disobeyed my orders. Now a large don't terminate my contract. Before I beat fire, I could watch my eyes. What am I running for yesterday today? Oh, give it to me. Now, now, now. Give it, give it, give it. I'm sorry, ma. Um, I will pay you. I will pay you tomorrow. I don't have money here with me. Hey! That's a year gift, friend. I don't beat her to come out for eyes yesterday. You don't go. Now, I come today. Oh, yeah, give me my money. Please, ma. I don't have... Girls, oh, yeah. Look at deal with her. Don't beat her out of her. Please I will pay you. I will pay you. She stole my fifty thousand naira. Listen, arrest and detain her until I say it's not true. I mean, I mean, she be stealing. Go, carry her. She be stealing. I mean, I say, stop my fifty thousand. No, stop talking. Ah, no, Chief, what are you talking about? I mean, 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 I she gone to? I don't know. She don't. She's still our madam money, so she don't. Know. Which one is the other sister? Let me see the red market. Which sister? Let me see better thing. Come now, girl, show you the market. You guys, you don't have any idea at all. I don't think I'm not there yet. I don't know. 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 I 
Jennifer, Uncle. what are you doing in my house? Uncle, I'm sorry. I, 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 I had to come and see you. I, 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 I have been looking for Frank everywhere. I went to his place of work. They won't allow me to see him. Serves you right. So what do you want me to do? Uncle, I came to see you. I came to beg you to please come and help me talk to him. I know they can allow you to see him. I know you, you know where to find him. Please, Uncle, I need you to help me talk to Frank. Let him forgive me. I've realized my mistakes. If not for anything, at least for, for the child that is between us. I, I, I want to see my no, child. That no, he... Jennifer, if you know what is good for you, just gently walk out of my house this minute. Uncle, please, in the name of God, please. Uncle, please. You're the only person that can talk to Frank for me. I am sorry for everything I, I have behaved to you in the past. Jennifer, after you insulted me and humiliated me and drove me, sent me out of your house, you suddenly realize you now need my help. God forbid, I can never do anything for you. I'm brother. Don't you recognize me, sir? I'm Felix, son to late Sergeant Johnson. What? Is it true you are the son of late Sergeant Johnson? Y yes, sir. Yes, sir. Then what do I do with all these people? I'm, I'm innocent. I didn't steal anything. No. I'm not an armed robber. Send uh, this uh, Felix Johnson to my office, okay? Okay, yes, sir. Felix, I want you to tell me the truth. What happened? Sir, after the death of my father, two months later, the DPO asked us to pack out of the balance. All the money they promised will not fulfill anyone. My mother packed us to a zinc house in Okoko. You will not leave. You mean your father's gratuity has not been paid till now? No, sir. I used to go to work to organize buyers of cars. Who's the hurry? The owners cannot pay. There were some robbers around. Honestly, I didn't know. I didn't know. When the police came, they arrested everybody that was present in the place. I know you have a sister called Chioma. I want you to tell your mother that I would like to see her and Chioma tomorrow. She's a prostitute now. She now lives in the hotel. Um, we've cleared the goods at the uh, warehouse and um, I've just confirmed the check at the bank. <laughs> yes, it's there on the computer. So you're a real genius. My girl, you'll not believe it. It's not me. Who? Susan, the girl I told you about. That girl must be good. So why not um, get to know her better and then absorb her into her company and uh, maybe you understand what I mean? My girl, the truth is, I would really love to do that. That is if I can find her. I, I, I've looked everywhere there is. I just can't seem to find that girl. So I think if you find her, it's good for you to let her know who you really are. I mean, it will go a long way in helping us out.
Hello? Ah, Uncle James, how are you? And uh, how is police work? <laughs> oh, I'm fine, I'm fine, I'm all right. I see. Uh, hold the little problem. Okay. Uh, all right, I'll be there in, say, um, an hour or so. Okay, I'll call. I see you want peace. This matter is very important. Uh, this is uh, Mrs. Johnson and her children, Felix and Chioma. Welcome, madam. Um, you're Tessie, right? Susan's friend. You two know each other? Yes, uncle. Um, she's a friend, so a friend. You see this family seated here. I am indebted to them. You remember two years ago I had a gunshot. If not for their father, I would not be alive today. You can see why I cannot be alive and watch this family suffer without doing something. Well, Uncle, what exactly do you want me to do uh, as regards this case? Please, my son. I want you to give this boy and his sister a job in their company if it's possible. I must tell you, Uncle, I'm really, really touched by what you have just told me. Um, I would beg you to let them go with me when I'm leaving now, back to my office. I would hand them over to my personal manager so that they would look into what I can give them to do. Thank you very much, Frank. Thank you, sir. I'm very happy. Thank you, sir. Thank you, sir. It's all right. Thank you, sir. Uh, it's all right. Madam, it's all right. Everything will be okay. If everybody was like your husband, there will be peace in the world. It's okay. But it's all right. It's okay. Move! Move! Enter, enter! We will still transfer you to go the other side. If anybody no can talk of to bear you, Enter, enter. I will contact somebody. I don't know, anyhow. Susan! Susan, what are you doing here? What are you doing here? You know her? Uh, yes, Uncle. That's the girl I told you about. Uh, could you do me a favor, please? Can you leave that to me so that I can take her away, please? Sure. Uh, Corporal, sir, go and prepare her bed and let him sign it immediately. Yes, sir. Susan, hey, what's the time you come in? I go ask him, what's the time you enter? I want it. What's the time you enter? Talk to me now. All of my life, I've been searching for love. A love that is real, faithful and true. Faithful and true. Oh, I'll do anything. Go anywhere. I'll go anywhere. You can climb the highest mountain. Swim the deep sea. Search for love. Oh, I've been searching for love. Life has not been fair to me. I fell in love with someone I thought really loved me But now I realize It wasn't really love All this while It was just a lie 
I gave all my love, but my love was not enough. I tried to use money, but that didn't do it. Now I'm so confused, I don't know where to go. Oh, what to do? Yeah, yeah, yeah. All of my life, all of my life, in search. Limited. So, why did you. Did I take a room in a jungle? <laughs> well, it's a long story, but I'm going to try and cut it short. It got to a point in my life I decided that I needed to rediscover myself. That's why I had to relocate to a jungle. And that is where I found you. You see, I've been through hell when it comes to women. I've been married twice. The first woman betrayed me. And the second woman, <laughs> she duped me of almost everything I've got. I said to myself, this, this can't go on. And that is why I found myself in a jungle. And I met you. You see, Susan, I have everything I want in this world, as you can see. But I just can't seem to lay my hands on the love of a good woman. And that's exactly what I found in you. Will you marry me? I can't. Why? Susan, why? I mean, how are you so sure about me? You don't even know me. I might even be worse, you know? I can't marry you. I mean, take a good look at yourself. We're two different people from two different worlds. I mean, you're, you're rich. And I'm poor. So? I can't marry you. You've got standard. Look at me. I'm so sorry. Besides, I'm a prostitute. No, Susan, and you're not a prostitute. How can you say that? Look, you're a real person. Huh? It's only a real person that, that can be you. Huh? All right, fine. Your circumstance might have led you to do it, but that, that doesn't mean you're, you're a prostitute. Look, Susan, I love you. Marry me, please. All right, all right. All right. Look, look what you did to my life. I mean, look how you, you turned my business around. A prostitute wouldn't do that. It's only a real person who has compassion and love can, that can do that. Please, Susan, marry me, please, please. I can't live my life like this without you. I just can't let you go. Can't you see that? Oh, all right. Um, 
I'll give you everything you want. Everything in life that you ever wanted, I'll give to you. I have the means to do that. Please marry me, please. Mm -hmm. the casino. I lied, Mama. <laughs> Mama, I think we went into prostitution. Prostitution? <laughs> Mama, please forgive me. I couldn't just stand it, Mama. Due to the poverty level, Mama, in this family. I just have to do something to help you and my two younger ones. I couldn't just stand seeing you suffer after my father's death. Mama, please. You had to find it in your heart to forgive me. I did it because of the family. Mama, on my first night out, I met this guy called Frank. He was my first customer. He took me to his house. He stayed at a jungle in a room apartment, Mama. He was nice to me and we became friends. Then when I went back, I had a problem with the woman that owns the hotel with my money. Mama, they picked me up. They picked me up and locked me up, Mama. For three days, that was why you didn't see me. But I didn't want to drag you into all this mess. I didn't want the shame and everything to come upon you. I didn't want you to be embarrassed, Mama. That was why I did not let you know. But as fate will have it, Mama, I ran into Frank again. He bailed me and took me to his house, Mama. But this time, Mama, not at a jungle, but Victoria Island. Mama, he's very rich. He's very, very wealthy and a millionaire, Mama. I don't know. This man you call Frank took you to Ajagule. One, one room or one room apartment, you called it. Later took you to Victoria Island to his mansion. I don't I don't really understand. Mama. Mama. That's not even the problem, Mama. He he asked me to marry him. What? I don't know what to do, Mama. I don't know what to do. I was so confused. <laughs> so he went through 
through all this because of me and your younger ones. Oh my God. Oh God, stand up. How well do you know him? I don't know, Mama. But he looks nice. He, he looks honest, Mama. Kind. I think he has his reason to stay there, Mama. I, I don't know. I'm confused. A man that wants to marry a prostitute must have seen something in you. Neither you or I don't know. The choice is yours. All of my life, I've been searching for love. A love that is real, faithful, and true. Yes, uh, thank you, Angela. I'm to go very well. Go very well. You have a high amount. Sweet, 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 Life has not been fair to me. I fell in love with someone I thought really loved me. But now I realize it wasn't really love. Frank. Maybe you are right, you know. Yes. Yes, I'll marry you. Oh, my goodness. Oh, my baby, I love you so much. Love you too. Sweetheart, oh, you have made my, my life worth living. Honestly, I, I, I don't know what I'll do without you. I just hope I won't disappoint you. <laughs> I know you won't, baby. I know you won't. I won't. All of my life, I've been searching for love. A love that is real, true, faithful, and true. I'll do anything. Go anywhere. I'll go anywhere. Life has not been fair to me. I fell in love with someone I thought really loved me. But now I realize it wasn't really love. All this while, it was just a lie. My love was not enough. I tried to use money, but that didn't do it. Now I'm so confused. I don't know where to go. Oh, what to do? Yeah, yeah, yeah. All of my life, all of my life, I've been searching for love. See a love that is real, faithful and true, faithful and true.